As an undercover agent, Parnell sent in regular reports on Mike Apollo's activity. Now, on St. Patrick's Day this year, they were alone in an airplane, which Parnell was piloting on a routine flight to a neighboring state. So. Cut. That's a print. <laughs> Time. Right on the button. That's a print. Oh, hey, this cast doesn't fool around. They really come prepared. Oh, yeah, well, they have to. You know, with a schedule as tight as this, they got a lot of people depending on them. We picked up 10 seconds on that last take, Peter. It felt good to me. It's a pretty intricate scene. Yeah, a lot of separate pieces of action. Well, what would happen if one of you became ill, say, for two or three weeks? We'd have to shut down for a while. Well, yes, and if he really got ill, we could all be out of work, cast and crew. In my house, it would be a disaster if I got sick. Bob wouldn't be able to cope with the kids. And if he got sick, I'd fall apart. I hope you're both taking care of yourselves. Nah, I could be replaced. No way. But he does take care of himself. Well, I try, but sometimes with this schedule, it's hard. So I play it safe. Well, how do you do that? By getting an annual checkup. Pete, I've got some revised pages for you. Excuse us, ladies and gentlemen, duty calls. Car. Here it is. Yeah, thanks. You know, that cameraman's really good. Hey, yeah, he's fast, too. You know, we've been very lucky. Good crew, good actors. Yeah, no serious delays or problems. Mm -hmm. Except I never seem to be able to get enough time to see my kids. I know what you mean. Sometimes I think they see more of me on the tube than they do in person. You know, I'm just now finding time to take my car in to get the carburetor checked. Yeah, now listen, when's the last time you had a checkup? Oh, I don't know. Last time I bought some insurance, a couple years ago. All right, now, Pete, let me tell you something. Don't worry. I made an appointment this morning. <laughs> you really get a checkup every year, huh? Yeah, you better believe it. I figure I owe it to myself and my family and other people. Besides, you know, there's a, a great psychological lift in getting it all over with and knowing that everything is okay. Thank you. It's a simple set of procedures, but what a difference it can make to your life. And I mean your life literally. You know, the great thing about checkups is they're preventive. Because you can often catch something early and correct it, you mean. Without interfering with your life at all. As a matter of fact, you'll be relieved. Well, with the schedule we have, I really have to be feeling in top shape. Look, athletes have checkups. Well, it's the same with you. And then, you know, from my point of view, it makes sense, too. It gives me a chance to look at you whole instead of piecemeal. Mm -hmm. Look for telling changes over a period of time. Well, that's the reason for the routine annual checkup. But there's nothing routine about it. You know, when I refer to your history and I ask you what's been happening, I mean action changes. Now, when I test your blood, I look for changes, you know, changes in cholesterol, changes that indicate infection, evidence that's readable. And your analysis reveals other changes. Diabetes? Yeah, that and other things. 
I'm looking for clues you may not be aware of at all. It's the electrocardiogram that always impresses me. Yeah, it's that way with most people. You know, you lie there so quietly, but then there's some heart disease that can be silent too. And, you know, it's these silent changes that I'm looking for. Their behavior in relation to time. Speaking of silent changes, we still have vision and timing. All right, let's go. Next setup, please. Do you know the most important thing about cancer detection, Peter? Well, the timing is the thing that the uh, sooner it's discovered and treated, the better. Now, from what you tell me about the procto, time is the key. Yeah. Well, have you ever seen why? Normal cells look one way. Now, cancer cells are easy to recognize. They have a different look. The unfortunate thing is that they also act differently. They reproduce wildly without any system or logic. And it's their behavior that's the important thing. Their behavior with relation to time. Now, there's a pattern they follow. You take cancer of the colon and rectum, for instance. Here's how it might begin, what we call cancer in situ. Now, let's say that this is a minute section of the colon or rectum wall. Now these cells normally have a regular pattern, almost like a brick wall. And here we have the surrounding tissues and muscle layers. At first, the cancer may affect just, just this little area. Something like this. But at this point, it hasn't invaded any of the surrounding tissue. No, but this is the crucial time because here is where it can begin to invade the surrounding tissue. However, it is still highly controllable if we find it. Time is the important thing. This is the danger point, as far as we're concerned. Now, once the cancer reaches this stage, it may metastasize. That is, it may spread from the colon and rectum to other parts of the body, seed itself, and start growing. If we detect the cancer in time and treat it before it starts to spread, we can eliminate it with surgery, with radiation, and there are certain types of cancer we're discovering chemicals to be helpful. Your part is to come in for checkups. Time is the important thing. It's a matter of life. The vet, get out of there, Barney. Go. Do it. Cut! Did I match the action from the long shot, you know? It was perfect, Craig. You know, when I played the chief of police on a series for a couple of years, we were all aware of our responsibilities to one another, uh, health-wise, I mean. I'll call you next week about the tests. Everything here is fine. Great. See you again next year. Do it. It's a matter of life. Do it. It's a matter of life. Who you be? Thanks. Hello? Hey, that's great. Well, as you said, on with your life. Thanks, Doc. Go. Timing is the thing. The doctor couldn't say it strongly enough. The point is, cancer of the colon and rectum is first in incidence among internal cancers, second in mortality among all cancers. Seven out of eight of these asymptomatic cancers could be found with a procto. Seven of the eight would be missed without a procto. Do it. It's a matter of life. 
Do it. 